Now, in regard to your question about my tweeting and all the rest of it, I've come here to just try and, sit, to try and have a debate with you about what we can agree on, because there's a lot we're never going to agree on. But the specific reason I did, I did tweet that was this. I think those candidates who fought the election explicitly saying, and remember these weren't rumours, we, we saw evidence that campaign organisers were telling people to say on the doorstep, Jeremy can't win, I am a good local MP. If you did that, I think it, it then disorientated you about electoral strategy because it, it combined with something we now know that the HQ didn't do right, which is whether they were using the wrong pollsters, they, misunder, they underestimated the strength of the surge in, in our favour. And therefore, even on the last night, they were fighting a defensive campaign when they could have been fighting an offensive campaign. Now, that the leader's office were doing that as well. Sam Tarry didn't stand for a marginal seat of Thurrock. He wanted a safe seat in Hull. He, in fact, went up against another member of the leader's office to do that. This, you know, the, 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 everybody what, whatever, in the campaign. Richard, whatever you... Whatever Ed McCluskey you, said 200 seats would be a good outcome. Well, Owen well, Jones was fundraising for Labour-held seats. Um, well, I wasn't. I said, you know, I, as you remember quite well, uh, staked my reputation on the idea that we could win. And I said the night before that we, that we could certainly achieve a hung parliament. Now, look, the point about it is, though, we can learn from the people in this room, largely from a different political tradition than me, but we're all part of the Labour Party. And the other thing is, the electorate expects us to, that electorate that isn't voting for us, Ashfield, the rest of it, expects us to deliver Brexit. I campaigned in three areas that, that I'm a jinx. They all, we, we failed in all three. Uh, Moorview, Plymouth, um, Bolton West, and uh, Broxtow. And my experience on the doorstep was that only saying Brexit will happen even got you a hearing, even got you a, a, a light in the eyes from the person who thought you were some kind of an IRA terrorist. Um, seriously, so we have, to, we have to maintain the idea that we're going to do Brexit in a socially just way, and we, that's a, a tough call for many people who, who, for whom it's a totally existential thing to be against it. But I think the question for people in this room is, it is now a left-wing Labour Party. It is a Labour Party led by a man vilified in 14 pages of the Daily Mail and the Sun as a terrorist sympathiser, and we've got 13 million votes. Do you want to be part of it or not? Because there is an alternative, that there could be a British Macron. Yeah, I'm, yeah, go on, go on, go on, keep going, you know, keep going. There, is a, there could be a British Macron. You could have a British totally sabotage Brexit, end Brexit, reverse Brexit, second referendum party. I, it, it, run right, it could be much better and do much better than Liberal Democrats did. Now's the time. In you don't believe time. that because you didn't. When you did your politics outside the Labour Party, you got very small numbers of people voting for you. You did it by entering the Labour Party what? and doing it behind Jeremy Corbyn. Why do you accuse you me of entering? You were in a very different left party before, Paul. Come on. Like, Why do you accuse me of but, entering what, what the Labour Party? Not, what you're I not, joined the Labour Party at the age of 19. My grandfather was um, was what, that generation that founded the Labour Party. Marxists, I'm not a Marxist, but I will say this, real Marxists, unlike me, have a place inside Labour and always did have, right the way through back to Saklat Vala, our first Asian MP in 1920. But so does everyone in this room. The Good. point, Paul, is everyone Good. in this room does. And what the lady was pointing to... So do you to want to be part of this party or not? It's a simple question. No. But, but why, why, Paul, the, the question was... That, that that tweet and others contributed to a feeling that there are people who are not welcome in the Labour Party. You people are all are, welcome. Uh, but only if we do exactly as you say. Only if we do exactly as you say. And that, you are all welcome in Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. But, but in one in which you're not allowed to speak your mind or you you're must be speaking bullied. it now. You're speaking your mind now. You We're want, hearing it. But you want us out if we do. You want us out if we do. No. That's what, but that, but what's your saying otherwise? What do you saying, mean, we, we have what a do you choice. Be, be in and be silent. No. I just said, I th I'm sure, I'm, in case you're misunderstanding me, just, just listen. If you want a centrist party, this is not going to be it for the next 10 years. If it's really important to you to have a pro-Remain party that is in favour of illegal war, in favour of privatisation, form your own party and get on with it. Right, okay. Right, let me take another round of questions.